Aries, welcome back to Joy and Nose. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, um, just go on the page and click the join button. We're gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we'll get into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Aries on what's going on, what to expect and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved and protected, amen. It is currently 8.41 p.m. Today is September 5th of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's go ahead and get into it. We do have some messages for you guys today. Um, also, lots of comparing dates and things of that nature. So if you're not really, if you're too busy right now, if you're driving, I would kind of come back and watch this at a time where you can compare and contrast or you can listen anyway, but just make sure you come back because it's really going to be mandatory that you guys get what you need from those date comparisons. OK, so first things first, uh, your overall message, I'm hearing lots of nines. The end of a cycle is here for you, all about completion here. And I'm also hearing something's going to be so easy or something was so easy. Also, I'm hearing you're going from out of range to in range. Like that's how easy something is. Imagine when you don't have cell phone service, right? You don't have to call the AT&T. You don't have to call Verizon. No, you just have to drive a little bit and suddenly boom, you have service again. It's something like that. Like you literally don't have to do much. Also, if you want to compare with um, games, I'm hearing you're not even playing chess. You're playing checkers. Like that's how easy something is here. Ace of Wands, you have a new beginning and you have the star so okay yeah I'm hearing something's been hijacked by your guides that's why it's so seamless that's why it's so I just keep hearing easy and I'm seeing that button from Staples so moving forward the main day that you guys have to go back to is May 19th and see why that was significant but I'm hearing you need to compare April 19th May 19th june 19th july 19th like something about the 19th of each month is going to put something together for you also it's so important that you guys exercise the power of now you know utilize right right now i'm hearing run 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 yeah ten of wands here because i feel like things are going to pile on fast you guys may get really busy really quickly or maybe there's just multiple tasks at hand so in order for you to stay focused and complete everything you just need to operate based off that first feeling that first thought you know um yeah i'm hearing the power of now and the power of the tongue as well and also you're going to notice that time is escaping you let's see what fell on the ground wow the five of wands the nine of wands the three of swords has all gone out of the window so for some of you you ended a contract with this king of pentacles this could be somebody maybe they're very like respected they have a really big position here maybe they offered you some type of opportunity but i feel like as soon as you took that on as soon as you started working with this person everything may have started going wrong for you right so i feel like because these cards fell on the floor as soon as you ended that relationship here as soon as you ended this partnership you know you said goodbye to whatever conflict that you were facing you cleared up the energy so like i said like the cell service is just like having no service versus having service it's just like you removed your energy from this situation and now you're able to move forward once again so okay nice i feel like whatever this was it was a really big blockage disguised as a blessing because with the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles it's like oh yeah nice but when you see everything that's behind it it's like wait what a minute wait a minute I'm hearing what a minute, I'm hearing what a burger. I'm hearing like a franchise. I've never been to what a burger, by the way. But yeah, I feel like during Leo season, you realize like the true colors you saw beneath the surface, you realize that, wait, this is actually really negatively impacting me. This isn't very positive at all. So like I said, ever since you got rid of that, you changed your mind frame, your mindset, everything's been different since yeah the hangman and you're gonna start to notice that 
Okay, so moving forward, set a, set a timer for 18 hours and 40 minutes. You're going to receive a confirmation of this reading when it goes off. Also, I feel like something takes place between 5 p.m. and 7.58 p.m. on the day that you see this. It's all about nighttime. Yeah, I'm also hearing listen out for transformation. I was hearing Rambo. For some of you, you're going to get two new beginnings. And I know this came out before in another reading just like this, the Rambo energy here. I'm hearing of all days of all times and that came out in that reading as well so i'm going to try to find that and link it below i'm also hearing your deadline is in one minute it's 8 45 wow it just turned to 8 46 just then so i'm hearing your deadline is in one minute just take it how it resonates um also After you come up with all the information that you need from all those days, April 19th, May, June, July, by September 19th, so this upcoming 19th, that's judgment for that entire cycle. Like whatever that string of 19 energy was for you, judgment time for that on the 19th of this month. So I feel like that cycle is coming to a close, whatever that was. It feels very, I don't want to say karmic because that has such like a negative tone to it, but it feels very cyclical here. And I feel like it's time for that cycle to be broken. Okay. I'm hearing run, run, run once again. I'm hearing run DMC. Um, also, for some of you, I feel like the cycle started to get better for you around July, like you regain some type of access, but you'll see something's going to be like it never even happened. I feel like everything's just going to be, it's almost going to feel like there's a certain period in your life and you just kind of like woke up. You know, it's like everything was good. There's this weird energy. And then it's like you wake up once again. So it's going to be like nothing ever happened. Like all that, whatever that was, was just a dream. OK, but like I said, it's individual for all of you. And you'll be able to know what it is for you when you compare those dates for yourself. I, I was also hearing you have all kinds of help coming in in all shapes, sizes, forms. I'm hearing species as well. I'm also hearing ultimate. That makes me think of that song. It's like you're it you're the ultimate it's automatic i'm sure of it no lie so don't even try don't tell me that you're not the guy because i've been waiting all my life yeah i think that's from freaky friday you may want to go watch that reading friday may be significant for you i know that was horrible singing <laughs> but i'm hearing that song there okay anyways moving forward yeah, watch that Scorpio Freaky Friday reading. That's probably going to be for you this upcoming Friday. You could be blind in your left eye. I'm seeing an eye patch over the left eye. Maybe something about that uh, Tuesday Leo Pirates reading as well could be significant for you. Um, also, I'm hearing... You have no worries when it comes to earth energy. So your pinnacles, your material, your health, your physical overall well-being, like everything is top tier, all right? And also that blind left eye, that could be that same energy that we've been seeing for all the signs that came up with Pisces too, like only being able to see things from one eye, only being able to see things from one perspective, not having the other side yet, not seeing through the right eye yet, you know? So same thing for you, okay um also i'm seeing something about puma but more so like the logo i'm seeing the puma like leaping i feel like that's your energy into these two brand new beginnings also i'm hearing yeah you have an opportunity coming in that changes your life forever and what they were showing me this is going to sound kind of eerie but just take it how it resonates like take it for what I mean when it comes to like the differences, not what I'm literally saying. But I, I was hearing it's like the day before versus the day after a vampire bites you. I'm hearing from like mortal to immortal. I don't know, but you have an opportunity to change things forever, but it's on that type of capacity. Like it's truly like forever. So that could have to do with like your lineages, your bloodlines. Like when you're no longer here, who still lives? That immortal energy there. So, okay. 
Also, as far as your Akashic records go, there's information that you don't know about your past life. For that information, go back to February 18th. When I did it for myself, it blew my mind. So make sure you guys go do that. Um, but I feel like it's gonna bridge the gap between your past life and what you're meant to do in this life to kind of tie a nice little bow on that. But I was hearing since the day you were born, okay? I'm also hearing bestowed. I'm seeing, whoa wow wow okay i'm seeing a situation like somebody's just born like there's a brand new baby in a hospital room and then i'm seeing i don't know if it's just because i've been seeing this poster everywhere but i'm seeing an archetype that looks like that scary movie nun billboard thing but it's not evil looking in the face but it's very stern it's very serious it's very scribe like it's very like oh you only call her when there's a birth or a death you know but i'm seeing this woman come in and like all black long uh, nun's outfit it kind of looks like a judge outfit too because so that could symbolize justice but i'm seeing them just like walk straight up to the baby and like do something to the baby like whether it's the little christening like i'm seeing a little holy oil something but i'm hearing bestowed upon you i'm hearing since the day you were born and I, like as soon as i said that i saw this lady just kind of like walk in almost like gliding it's almost like she's like floating in I, she feels like a female grim reaper without all the like you know the weapon the weaponry but okay, so yeah, you guys, you have a very important mission here. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. It's like, since you first came into this world, you see the little three fairies around her? Okay, I'm telling you. And then look, from that point, even up until now, like it's still here, it's still prevalent. Those same little three angels i'm hearing father son holy spirit i'm hearing the trinity here that's the same guiding light that's here with you now so you're going to be able to make sense of all of it go back to 218 if you care to share comment below also i want to show you guys my shirt it says cosmic vacation there's this little alien for some of you you may be taking a trip um with an aquarius and i feel like Ooh, there's a big shake up there. Okay, so let's see. This is a Akashic energy for Aries, please. Yeah, we got it. Literally, you have the Queen of Scrolls. That's the woman who walked in. You see how her her forehead is like, like you only call her at the right time. And you see she has this scroll, ancient energy. She's in charge of something here. And then you literally have the Akashic Library. Those are the only two cards that came out. And I told you guys, go in your camera roll to February. You have the number two here. 18, which symbolizes the moon. Secrecy. I just put that together now. You're, you're going to see what you need to see when it comes to your Akashic. Yeah. Waterfall here beautiful so something that didn't make sense something that was frozen for you before now you're going to be able to make sense of it for a lot of you this could be about you and your siblings here but you see how the little big bird or feet is feeding like the baby birds it's like only information that your mother your father somebody sh like sh deeply connected to you could give you so just be on the lookout for that hearing the missing piece <clears throat> moving forward okay i feel like you guys you have a really good memory and i feel like it works against you sometimes so there are certain things that it's like mandatory for you to do in order to move on from situations and like to really take those things out of your mind so for some of you um you could be putting those things in practice you could be realizing that see for me personally it's the complete opposite it's not that i have a bad memory i just have so many thoughts that i don't really hold on or get caught on or stuck on anything it's like in one ear out the other you know or it's, it's kind of like um out of sight out of mind for me but for you guys i'm seeing the opposite it's like you like hold on to things like you remember every single detail so in order i'm hearing like your guides have to go in and extract those things and i feel like you do that through different ways so it could be through sweating working out um i did this insane beak room pole not pole bar i was thinking of like the bar pole but this beak room yoga um 
bar class today this morning and I sweat so much it was insane and I felt so cold for hours after but then I felt so refreshed like I was looking in the mirror my skin feels brighter you know what I mean so I just feel like there's certain practices that you guys literally have to do in order to get those things out of there so new things can come in because you don't want I'm seeing like an elephant memory you don't want all those things just ruminating in your mind if it doesn't make sense or it's not conducive productive for you something about Columbia the college I was also hearing Loyola Marymount I think that's a college like near here um I feel like for some of you you may have two kids like two completely different age brackets I'm seeing like a toddler going through potty training and I'm seeing a teen who's like dealing with anxiety so for some of you um, I just feel like you have two completely different situations on your hands. Some of you are, um, your kids are spending time with their grandmother or maybe you're in charge of your grandchildren just depending on you know who you are. Also, I feel like some things like jigsaw, there's a riddle that you're gonna have to figure out. For some of you, I was hearing like one of your parents could have worked in a circus. I was seeing Houdini. For some of you, I was seeing something about Europe, but I feel like I was hearing Jedi Junior, like you're your parents' descendant. So the same thing that they were able to do, the same talent that they have. I'm hearing illusionist, you have it too. Something about Texas could be significant. Also Connecticut as well. For some of you, you could be a descendant of someone that was in the Holocaust who's still living. Also, going back to how I said something's going to be so easy, the more I was saying that in my mind, I was thinking about easy A that made me think of um, Scarlett's letter. I'm seeing a situation where somebody could have slut shamed you, but it backfires on them. For that situation, set a timer, set an alarm for 426 and label it slut shaming if you're a guy you could just name uh name it like shit talking or something you're going to get a confirmation of what and who that is but why it backfires there's a reading i did and it's like we don't talk about bruno right you're that thing that it's like off limits it's off guard like we don't talk about that so i'm seeing like a group of people talking and then maybe they bring you up in a negative way or maybe somebody tries to say something negative about you and it's not true one because i was hearing clean air clean energy so the facts are wrong but i feel like the people who hear what's being said go really hard for you and i'm seeing a hand with no middle finger like you're not even able to put a middle finger up at aries you know like you can't even do that or if you try to like you're not gonna have a middle finger something like that so just know like you're very strongly protected your reputation um also your character like it's um it's unshakable here also seeing another weird energy of something being leaked and reposted hundreds of times that came out before when i pulled on it um two guys came out it may still be on here yeah when i pulled on it this came out so i said leak i immediately thought something about maybe some type of information but it could be photos something about same sex could be a theme here it says generate shifts, but I saw gender shifts. So hopefully not, but somebody could be outed online. And that's not cool. That goes back to that discretion reading from the other day. I'm also seeing the monster logo. If you look closely at that logo, those are Hebrew letters. You could be Jewish. Also, I'm hearing something about Mad Max. That reminds me of the villain era reading for Virgo. You may want to watch that. Okay, so moving forward, um, it's the 5th right now. So in six days on the 11th, yeah, it's 8.59 on the time. I was hearing there's going to be some type of dispossession. And I was seeing something coming apart at the seams and it reminds me of the beginning of that movie Coraline. So then when I started like thinking a little bit deeper on this, what they showed me was you at a small age and I was seeing you like forgetting things or having issues with like your developmental processes, whether that's speaking, whether that's learning, whether that's, you know, connecting certain things. I just see either you were very forgetful or maybe off like your focus was disrupted easily and i was hearing spell work 
I'm seeing that same vision of the, the woman coming in, but on the other side of the fence, like maybe somebody that like did something negative to a child, but then they showed me like another spectrum. That's kind of like fantasy land type of thing. It's possible, but we're not gonna really go there. There could have been a traumatic event that you witnessed as a child that affected you. And I feel like whatever that is, whatever that childhood energy is, maybe that forgetting thing could be you forgot about this now and it's, some, it's somehow just still kind of lingering in the energy. But on the 11th or in six days from the day that you see this, that's being unraveled. Like I'm seeing, like I said, the, the doll from Coraline, all the stuffing being taken out, a whole new doll is create, created from that. Like all of that energy is going to be released null and void literally in six days and that's a huge huge cycle for you huge cycle also i'm hearing babble like when it comes to people misunderstanding you or if you feel like people kind of like go out of their way to intentionally misunderstand the things that you say intentionally read you wrong intentionally like make you out to be this negative person that's gonna be like anybody that tries to do that it's gonna sound like gibberish it's gonna sound like babble like the, the tables are turning in your favor here and you have another aries reading called that and the gemini reading was called that yesterday any of those signs could be significant also over the next six days i was hearing you're gonna find a place to lease that has a pool if you're looking for a home for some of you some of you are going to meet someone named jacob or the initials jg could be significant uh for some of you there's something about a medical office that could be significant also i was hearing so that made me think of um, like significant other. So over the next six days, something about you and your significant other, if you have one could be significant. Or I was also hearing like, um, like shout out. I was hearing like on, a, on the radio, say you have a song, right? And it finally gets played on the radio for the first time. So something like that, you may, or your boss kind of highlights you in front of everybody. I don't know. Or I'm seeing like in a dance class when they're like, hey, can you demonstrate that for everybody? You're gonna get some type of recognition over the next six days. So just um, be on the lookout for that. I'm also seeing another weird energy where it's like someone that you taught something thinks that you guys are in competition. There's a bear on the bottom. So it's making me think of that Aquarius reading. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Let's see what that's about. Shuffle for Aries. yeah look at this here <laughs> look at this here so you have the page of stones here links this is somebody look how innocent they look page of stones that's the pinnacles i just want to learn i'm brand new i'm fresh i'm on my best behavior and then it's like six weeks in seven weeks in six months in seven months you know whatever six to seven either weeks or months you start seeing like what's really going on you have the six of stones which is normally like giving somebody a gift the six of pentacles that's a gift that's a blessing here right but why in this case does it say exploitation also i'm looking at the work in the background the work's not even done right you know so you could feel like somebody that you took under your wing is like kind of taking advantage of you here they're not really treating the situation as something that they're grateful for they're not really like i don't know it's like they're not really seeing like look at her insecurity i'm hearing poison ivy it's like they're kind of ignoring the blessing that you're giving them and then even more so maybe disrespecting you in some way because we did say in the channel messages here someone that you taught thinks you guys are in competition right so it's like i don't know i'm just seeing a lot of disrespect with this situation yeah you have the mirror here you could be dealing with a sash specifically 12 capricorn could be significant pisces energy could be significant with the number 12 but yeah um that's just a side note but look in the background you have nothing to worry about you see this person in the background i'm hearing that song that's like nothing 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 without you that person is nothing without you so as soon as you take your energy away from the situation 
that boat just like sailing on by that's all that there is left so it's nothing for you to worry about it's nothing for you to feel any type of ways about because at the end of the day it's like you try to take them under your wing teach them something that maybe only you your family understands you and your family know you see tradition here so something that's very sacred to you, something that's like a practice for you and has been for many, many generations. You see that? It's like trying to teach somebody that and then them just like blatantly disrespecting it, stomping all over it, trying to move forward too fast. It's like you're trying to tell them to, hey, we need to stretch first, sit in this yoga position. We're going to take some deep breaths. They're like, no, no, no. I want to get started. I want to get started, you know? And it's just like, there's a process to this. This isn't a microwave, this is an oven type of practice, you know what I mean? And I just feel like you're dealing with somebody and it's becoming challenging. I feel like this is definitely this year, the year of the rabbit. It's become challenging because you realize like you're more so, there. it's not like reciprocative, you're more so battling. Like you see how there, it's like kangaroo energy right there. So yeah, don't worry about it. Just stay true, I'm hearing to your religion and just continue making your masterpieces because with the wheel here um it's just one of those things where it's like if you're not a part of it you're not going to know to respect it nor is it going to respect you so the same magic that has been following you has been a part of your family it's like you try to give that to somebody else if they reject it cool they reject it more for you and your lineage more for you and your tribe you know what i mean and it's like that same practice would not have helped them, would not have gotten them there anyway. So it's like kind of them being that way saved everybody a whole bunch of time because it's like your guides weren't even really backing them. They weren't for it. They didn't, you, they didn't even want you teaching them, the green woman. So just keep that in mind. I just heard a scream outside. So yeah, <laughs> the green woman came out once again. Let's see what's behind her. You have the green woman, the seer, the archer, and the ten of bows. It's like what, where you're focused, you're dedicated, you're a sharpshooter. You have this because, like I said, it's in your family. It's in your blood. This is who you are. This is you, right? By taking them on, it just would have added more weight to you. So, honestly, it, it may seem disrespectful, but the time wasted had it gone any further would have been that much more disrespectful further down the line. So just be grateful that you saw what you saw now. Yeah. And I'm hearing that's what I get for trying to be generous. But don't lose that generosity either. Just make sure that you share it with proper people who can respect it and add to it and appreciate it. You know what I mean? So you don't drain yourself in the process of trying to pull somebody else up. Fuck that. Anyway, moving forward. Um, for some of you, uh, I feel like we talked about this before. There's this African continent that's like, or it's near Africa. It's not on the map, but maybe you keep having dreams of it. It exists. We'll hear about that soon. It keeps coming up. I know other places that we mentioned have been found shortly after, but I just feel like there's something about that particular region. Also, the same little girl who just screamed downstairs while I was writing these, I had the door open so my dog can kind of like watch them play down there. And she kept singing this little song. She kept saying like, falling in love, falling in love, falling in love. Her name's Rebecca. So if your name's Rebecca, maybe you're falling in love. I don't know if it's like a TikTok thing. I don't have TikTok, but she just, every couple seconds, she just kept saying it like as if it was stuck in her head. I don't know if it's a new song, but falling in love could be significant. For some of you, you could be an advocate for animal testing. For some of you, I feel like you cut ties with the Gemini here. You could be receiving lots of spam calls. It could be that person and not spam. Seeing something about suede shoes. I believe there's a song called like blue suede shoes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know how it goes though. For some of you, you're going on a girl's trip here. I'm seeing like sorority graduates. I feel like on the last day of the trip, you meet someone new. Some of you may have a husky. I'm also seeing a bunny as well. You could be in your 20s. For some of you, maybe you're a mother. You could have become a mother in your 20s. Some of you may meet a cute water sign boy. I was hearing that specifically. For some of you, you may edit or you could be creating a fiction novel. Also, I was hearing something about an earthquake in California, but what else is new? For some of you, maybe you've traveled to all 50 states. 
Also, there's a Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, feminine energy, and I feel like they're going to tell you two things. They have two deliveries for you, two gifts, two um, pieces of good information, good news. So just know a Queen of Pentacles is coming to you to tell you something. Um, also, if you're a feminine energy, I feel like there's a masculine and he feels like he's the only one in the world who can understand you. Or if you're a masculine energy, like maybe there's a girl and it's like, I'm the only one in the world who gets her. Like, I feel like you're so sure of that. <laughs> um, also, I'm seeing something about somebody's wig being snatched or, or yanked off in three days. So if you wear wigs, just like make sure they're secure. For some of you, I'm seeing something about a female troop or like a female doctor who works, you know, with the troops and stuff. I see that person as being somebody very inspirational to you. They could be a Sag, a Leo. They could be your sibling. I'm also hearing I love JM. You may meet somebody with these initials. Something about Paris or Malaysia could be significant as well. Also, something about your right back window. Be careful where you park, okay? Um... Some of you may bake when you're feeling down. I'm seeing somebody like do all these little designs on a cake, you know, just to pass the time. Also, I'm seeing Oprah. You may have a talk show or a podcast. I'm seeing an Oprah type. I'm also hearing like, where's my accomplice? I'm seeing somebody that's on a show, but they're waiting for the guests to arrive, you know, like they can't start something until there's somebody to speak to. Um, I'm hearing these names. Brenda, Jade, Adriana could be significant. Also, I'm seeing something about a pet stuck in a hot car, a pet gone missing here. I'm hearing Lassie. Something about the study of fossil fuels. This could be you. I'm also seeing a really big crater in the earth. And then from there, more studies about fossil fuels may come about or new information. I just see something like impacting the earth and then like new discoveries, new information comes out after that. We just have a few more messages. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to make these shorter, but the information just has to get out, guys. Um, okay, in two days, I was seeing something about a pregnancy announcement. That could be that Queen of Pentacles. Maybe that's what they're telling you. In five days, you're gonna get the tea about something. I don't see you reacting or saying anything. I just see you silently silently moving forward. I see this is about a queen and a king of pentacles here. So just take it how it resonates, okay? Um, last few messages on this side. I was seeing a weird energy. I'm seeing that Broadway show Wicked again. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, specifically a cigarette smoker. I'm seeing Newports, right? So set an alarm for 2.24 p.m. I'm seeing something about that Spartan reading. It's a Taurus reading. It's called This Blessing is Delivered to You by Hand. I'm also hearing like I beg to differ, right? So I'm getting like at 2.24 p.m., maybe somebody who was disrespectful, wicked even to you in the past, they may reach out to you or there's something about that person you'll know when the alarm goes off. But it's interesting because the Aries reading at 2.25 p.m. was all about reconciliations, da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da-da. So going back, the deadline is a minute. I'm hearing you're a minute late, you're a dollar short. So, Cause somebody, I see somebody trying to come back, but it's at the wrong time, it's too late. Something, something's dead, the door's closed. Uh, you can't get to the flight, they closed the gates already. There's nothing that you could do, rebook. It's something like that. So pay attention there. It's it's a minute, it's a literally a minute difference. I'm hearing like just in the nick of time or like, I don't know, I don't know, but this is spirit within this year. I don't you that'll make sense for you in a little bit I just find it so uncanny how it's like at 224 reconciliation energy with this wicked person but no 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 the portal's 225 you're a minute short a dollar short a day off is something like that okay whoo I'm hearing bad bad news I'm just bad bad news go listen to that song coffee bean yeah, go listen to that. I'm hearing that. Um, also, I'm seeing a vision of my uncle. I have this uncle. I don't really care to say his name right now, but <laughs> he had this huge sword collection. And me and my cousin, his daughter, we would always like, you know, not play with them, but we would just like stand back and like look at all of them. And he had them posted up on the wall, you know, like hung up. So for some of you, maybe you have like a sword collection here. 
hearing samurai. Also, I'm hearing something rare. I'm hearing like snow in South America. Also, I'm seeing somebody who plays the violin in the spotlight or somebody like if you do sports, you're going to be in the spotlight for some, something about sports. I also see somebody giving you a very thoughtful gift here. Something about these names. The name James has been coming up so strong for so many weeks. So I feel like that's global. That's public. Also, something about Elvis. I know that's random, but Elvis keeps coming up really, really strong too. Also, the name Sophia or Soph for short. Lizzie, Ted. Joyce Tyson that reminded me of like the chicken nuggets I almost said fake chicken nuggets. <laughs> something about the Tyson company could be significant if you're eating that I'm not gonna say anything um and then I was hearing the name I was hearing kiwi or like kiki um okay last couple messages something about Miami I was seeing the restaurant Carbone if there is a body of water near that particular restaurant, I see a body being found in that body of water. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds like, well, yeah, hangman right here. And just like that person that we saw floating on that card, which I've never seen that on the hangman card, which is the same number 12 here, but it's in this deck. I've never seen that body in the back of, of that card in the boat before. So yeah, I see somebody being found in the water, unfortunately. I'm also seeing a situation um, where it's like you almost gave your destiny away because of a bad teacher, a bad experience. So say you always had a passion for forensics. You finally take a forensics class. You have a horrible teacher. Like, you know, maybe they're a different age than you. Maybe they're, they're not teaching the curriculum that you want. But like because of that teacher, you thought that maybe you actually didn't have a passion for this particular thing or something like that. So I feel like your destiny is gonna be restored when it comes to something that you thought wasn't for you, but it actually is, okay? You have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles that came out there. So yeah, I see a fresh start. I'm seeing the Page of Wands for you. I'm seeing like giddy child energy. Some of you, you could be South Asian. I'm hearing Filipino. I'm also seeing something about a karaoke. Also, I feel like because of a pregnancy or something like that, you understand a cycle or like what bonded you and a person. I'm seeing a situation where say two people have a kid, but maybe they're not married or planning to get married. But it's like, say before that kid, long before they had this weird like thing with each other, like they break up, but then they come right back, blah, blah, blah. But then they have a kid and after the kid comes, it's like they understand oh that was that yo-yo energy like that's what kept bouncing us back here together so i feel like there's a new level or a new understanding of something coming here also i'm hearing something about new mark i'm seeing a lotus flower i'm hearing that song that's like something something a thousand years and i'll wait a thousand more for you for you like from twilight <laughs> It's like nothing prepared me for the privilege of being yours. It's a beautiful song. You guys should go listen to it, but I just don't know what it's called. I'll find it and I'll link it below. So that song might be significant for you. For some of you, I feel like you get all, along with Geminis and Scorpios because they just, they're very direct and they just kind of tell it how it is. I'm also seeing something about a skateboard, but I just heard easy transportation, quick transportation. I'm seeing a highway backed up and I'm seeing a motorcyclist go in between the cars. If you're a motorcyclist, be careful of doing that. I hate when I see people doing that, but I'm just having a vision of that. Mm. I'm also seeing that scene in World War Z when the cop accident or somebody like hits the side of his mirror off because they were going in between the cars like that so just be careful with your car um you could be celebrating someone's 25th birthday in a week also um i see somebody having like a kid but they don't know by who but what they were showing me is like an animal that's pregnant but the owner doesn't know how it happened or who but i'm seeing it's like a person also last thing on june 19th i feel like a shark is going to be exposed to you this could be a friend this could be a person but when i think of shark i think of loan shark i think of also people who work in like commissions and they're like racing to like get to the person in the door so they could be the one that sells to them that energy yeah confirmation but it's like at all costs at any cost like it's, it's very aggressive i'm also seeing somebody like 
knocking on a door hella times, you know? I don't know, but I feel like a shark is gonna be exposed to you if you go back in your camera roll to 619. That's also in alignment with all those 19 days, all that shit that's coming to a close on September 19th, so okay. Moving forward, yeah, that could be a Leo. I'm also seeing something about a break dancer. I'm also seeing somebody with a BMW, and I was seeing that pirate reading once again, okay? Oh, last thing, I was hearing something about a clock tower in the UK. Maybe you live near a clock tower? I don't know, there's something about a clock tower. I was also hearing outre, that made me think of like hair dye. I'm also hearing outro, like the end of a song or like the end of something. Hello, my love. Okay, let's get into it, are we ready? hearing the name Freddie. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Let me just get things together really quickly. I think we're done with these. And we're just going to move on to the decks that I chose for your reading. Okay. So let's, let's look at this really quickly. Yeah, I'm seeing a phoenix rising from the ashes here right behind the king of wands with death and transformation. So yeah, it's like you have a Scorpio energy in the front and the back of you. These could be guides. This could be like grandparents, great grandparents, ancestors. There's a change coming when it comes to your job and I'm hearing how you're respected within that community, within that field here. Because if you look closely, there's like a tower and it looks like it's hitting the tree right so that tower is hitting some type of structure foundation here and with the knight of wands he's not the king yet and there's all this nine of wands energy all those nine wands kind of remind me of certain situations things maybe even people in certain positions keeping him out of becoming the king of wands right so whatever that was i feel like that lightning is hitting all those wands for you and you've been sitting in this four of cups energy knowing that you're capable of more knowing that you're able to do more knowing that you can handle more but it's like no one's giving you the opportunity to really like put your money where your mouth is that's what's coming to a change for you here and let's see what's on the other side of things well would you look at that that's a wand bigger than all those fucking wands that they were trying to hold up against you isn't it isn't that ironic look all those little wands look at this big ass wand that you're about to receive and that's justice here i see what is this that's the nine of cups here and look he's no longer he's no longer sitting in the four of cups he's now standing on the four of pentacles he now has something to be proud of he now has something to hold it says the hangman it says paranormal activity four my youtube vivaldi mozart just went off and it just went to like the home screen all of a sudden but yeah the story is about to change for you so where you have been i'm hearing overlooked overshadowed downplayed that cycle is closing for you and it's gonna happen so easily as easy as you being in an, a roaming area versus being in a place with five bars is literally the matter of driving two minutes down the road just that quickly so what that tells me is just keep waking up keep going to sleep keep waking up keep going to sleep and you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be in that new position you're gonna be in that new cycle there's nothing that you have to do we are playing checkers this is leisure this is fun this is a good time there's there's nothing on the table here we're not betting for anything we're not losing anything you know nobody's like oh if they win in chess that means they're smarter no we're having a you're having a good time this is where you get to relax sit back enjoy i don't really see your head on too much of a, a swivel like these are your golden years i'm hearing that you're walking into where when you walk in you hear hey aries instead of like hey kid <laughs> hey little boy like i don't know you're finally gonna get the respect that you deserve i know that though shuffle for aries
Yup, in that order, in that order. All you have here, your manifestations with the ace of manifestations coming into balance. Two, three, that trinity energy, mind, body, spirit. Four, the boundaries, because now it's like, it's almost like it's never that you forgot who you were or what you were capable of, but it's just when you have so much energy around you that's not reaffirming that sometimes, maybe you start to think like, okay, hmm, hmm. And I see it's like you got into that vibe, but never again, not anymore, not after this point. August literally ended that. September changes that and October is where you get to experience that. So just be looking forward to all of this. You have complete crone resurrection here, Scorpio energy, and then you have an ace of realization here. So there could be a Scorpio involved, whether this is a person, whether this is an ancestor, but I feel like, yeah, after this, you have five. That's the higher font that's signing off on this new found, I'm hearing freedom. And I don't know why I'm seeing Christopher Columbus sailing up on like the shore not the comparison that i wanted to draw at a time like this but <laughs> i can only be honest about what it is that i'm seeing i don't lie i don't like to lie because i don't lie well anyway moving forward oh shit you guys i completely forgot because <laughs> i was gonna say that's why i hate acting and i stopped acting i don't like to lie uh i'd rather be on here speaking facts you know but i forgot a whole big ass part of your reading and i'm wondering if i should just stop now yeah talk about it now okay um so after my yoga class i ended up helping my friend with an audition which was hilarious because i just haven't like done a self-tape or any of that in so long it's just been so far left from my focus but it was funny it was funny what was interesting about this was the script that they had to use and i feel like it's significant to your reading okay so i took a picture of the script it's two pages on um, but I, they both essentially say the same thing. There's just like one sitting, one standing, okay? So I will read you this one. And I'm only able to use it because it's not being used, you know? So it's all about also, let me just pull these decks. It's all about like a news reporting as well. So just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna say the company that the commercial's for, but um, I will say that the animal of the company is an owl <laughs> Wow, on the bottom of the deck. So we're going to be using like my key owl decks for this one. Use this one, this one. And this one doesn't have it on the front, but there's just like a card in it that I was thinking of. OK, so let me read you this script and then um, we'll pull on it and see what it's about. Because I feel like this is a big deal. I feel like it's very much in between the lines and it says paranormal activity four right here. It's this little girl looking at the screen and the shadow boy behind her. So it's something in the distance, it's something in the dark, it's something that you can't see, but it's like very well in between the lines, you know? So let's see. So this could be about Halloween. So about like um, next month, it says it's Halloween and the blank owl still remains at large. The green corporate mascot continues to strike fear into the hearts of learners around the world, snatching them, doing unspeakable things to them. Police are negotiating with the owl and saying he's the only way to escape. Wait, sorry. Police are negotiating with the owl and he's saying the only way to escape is to complete a series of fun lessons. But see, but some see it as an act of justice. Here are two blank fans who shall remain anonymous who called in sick to work to be here. Can you tell me why you support the owl? So this is all from the perspective of like the news anchor reporting on like Halloween about whatever. And then he hands the mic to the people and the protester says, if you arrest the owl, we will carry out his mission. You can't stop us. And then the anchor says, for now, local police are urging those at home to keep up with their blank to avoid any unfortunate incidents. So let's look what's in between this, because, you know, 
owl symbolized to me one a 360 perspective so like the whole view and we've been talking all week about only having one side of the view you know so let's see let's see you have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck you have the six of swords on top shuffle for this encrypted message brought to us by a casting <laughs> i think i pulled too many times Ooh, yeah there's a tower here you have tower and then you have eight eight when you break down the tower you have eight 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 all right so we're gonna start there shuffle for aries For some of you, because it's interesting because the script, it says it's Halloween and something is still at large. So for some of you, all this great stuff is coming in, right? But I feel like there's something very particular that you could be waiting on here around Halloween. It's still not here. It's still not present. Maybe you're dreaming about it. Maybe... Uh, it could be like a job opportunity for a lot of you yeah queen of pentacles or like a certain position i feel like you start dreaming about this opportunity way before it comes it's gonna come in capricorn season right so that could also be you yeah seven of wands here seven of cups ace of cups wondering like you know what's going on where something is why is something missing you know and we have like the spiritual police and the anchors trying to figure out as well but i feel like you're just your premonition you're pisces in vedic astrology right so you're hella psychic already So your premonition just sees it before the before you're ready to sit in this seat, before you're ready to sit in this um, proverbial throne, if you will. So just know like that opportunity is coming during Capricorn season. Also something maybe you thought or maybe say you applied for a job and what it says is the starting date is August 28th or like that already passed. The starting date is like October 15th, right? Now it's Halloween. You still haven't heard back from the job. You think you didn't get the job. Like now, you know, all this stuff. No, 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 no. You're going to get the call like in Capricorn season. Something happened on the back end that you're not aware of because you're not a part of the company yet. You're not in the know yet, but it just got delayed a little bit. Okay, so just know that. Just know that. Don't lose hope yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, because something's coming to you. It's just taking so slow like look the knight of pentacles he's literally a donkey think about if donkey didn't have shrek how like how he would like lose focus and it would have taken maybe 10 movies to even get to fiona you know so it's something like that it's not about you it's not about your expertise it's not about your skills it's not about none of that it's just about timing so yeah trust your path on the bottom of the deck here share your voice on top shuffle for aries Ooh, you have play. Nice. And then you have star seed on top. Okay, so yeah, just enjoy yourself and just know everything's cultivating for you. Like we said, this is checkers. This is easy, easy peasy lemon. I'm hearing lemony snicket. Uh, yeah, after a series of unfortunate events, things are going to be so easy that they're going to make you uncomfortable because you're so used to things being like so full of resistance. And I feel like that's why this is so exciting for you. Yeah, you literally have 13 death and reincarnation again, Scorpio energy. And then you have the princess of wands. You're enthusiastic. Yeah, you're still the emperor. You know, even if you're a female, you're still in your emperor vibe. But now you're excited about life because it's not like you're having to use your emperor energy to like put everything back together and like rule people around and put towers like bring towers back up no it's like you get to finally use your emperor energy to enjoy to cultivate to create to engage with others to connect you know what i mean ten of pentacles here success like it's a different vibe ace of pentacles here with the ten of pentacles october is different i'm telling you i'm telling you october is when you live it october is when you experience it and then wait just wait till capricorn season i'm hearing that's the cherry on top that's the cherry on top like things are good now things are great next month but just wait till capricorn season my gavel shuffle for aries 
and I just want to stop and let you guys know yeah 10 of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck I'm so proud of you for everything that you guys are about to accomplish just know if nobody because you have to remember there are so many people in the world that feel like it's just them, you know? And I know there's people in the world where it's like YouTube and watching these videos, like it feels like, you know, we're in the same room, we're having a conversation. So if nobody told you today, if nobody told you this week, if nobody told you this month, this year, I'm so proud of you because I see visually, I see mentally, and I see physically right here where you're headed and just know everything that you've been through is going to be so worth it like i literally have chills right now i'm so cold and so hot at the same time i don't know what's going on but i all i can say is it's about to get so good the fool on top this is a new quest a new journey for you straight into the 10 of motherfucking pinnacles you know what you can do with the 10 of pinnacles whatever you want <laughs> nine of swords like it's like having anxiety because you have so many things that you could do places that you can go you don't even know what to choose that's a good ass problem to have aries that's a great problem to have aries like yeah just chill just chill just chill 10 again another one i'm here <laughs> i'm getting that like middle eastern energy again kali khalifa khaled yeah adventurous some of you may be taking a trip i'm hearing sagittarius i'm seeing sand dunes <sighs> okay i'm seeing this is less of like um i don't know why i just heard extramarital affairs hopefully not but i'm seeing this is less of a sexuality thing at this part of the reading and more so of like i'm seeing these two guys praying together right so i see it's like you're walking into a time you're walking into a period where it's like the people that you're surrounded with like you see these two people they really care about each other whether they're in a relationship whether they're brothers whether it's uncle and nephew you know what i mean that's real care compassion i'm gonna make sure you're good you're gonna make sure i'm good it reminds me of this moment and what happened to monday that story it's like a play on the seven sisters you know um the constellation so there's a part where Monday, it's her first day of school and she's hella scared because there's so many people. And the grandfather, he just like leans down to her and they just touch noses. And it's just a powerful moment. And I'm getting that same thing. It's like nonverbal communication. You're gonna be okay, you know? You're good. If you haven't seen that movie, um, it's on Netflix. What happened to Monday? I've talked about it before. It's so, so good. But it's literally like, a play on Pleiades like you'll see yeah all Sagittarius energy these are three Sagittarius cards right here get ready for expansion you guys just get ready for expansion that's literally it in all forms yeah what is this um the difference <laughs> I'm hearing before and after. Look how light you are. Look how carefree. I also feel like maybe you start to feel very uptight, aggressive even for some of you, but that's going out the window. I'm seeing Maserati. So you about the next three days, you have some shocking information coming towards you. Tower, moving towards you really slow. I feel like this is good news. It could be about an opportunity here, but just know you're gonna be shocked. I'm hearing over the next three days, maybe even quicker, three hours from seeing this. Yeah, maybe three hours. So just pay attention to that. Anything else for them? Mm. I feel like should we run it through Aries dealing with each sign no they don't want that right now maybe should I just pull one more card from each deck that's what we'll do let's just go through everything sum it up oh actually no 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 no. I know what I'm gonna do hold on which deck do I want to use it has to be one of these two 
10 of cups on the bottom of this one. So let's just get like one final, I just wanna see one final little message here. I just wanna see like an overall of everything real quick. <laughs> yeah, nice, you end with the world card here. So let's see. <clears throat> You're starting off emperor here. Brand new beginning for you during Virgo season for sure. I also feel like um, I heard they already know as soon as I was gonna start saying that here with the Prince of Swords, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Whatever you found, consider that your North Star and you'll know what that is for you. Moving forward, yeah, you have the Prince of Swords, the Princess of Swords here, the Prince of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Also, I feel like you're about to be working around people who are just as motivated, just as passionate, just as driven as you. I'm also hearing adventurous as well, seeing a combination of two men and one female here, but making shit happen. I'm hearing the cancer reading is called the dream team. And I feel like not only do these people work really well together in business, but they're also really good, kind, compassionate, considerate friends as well. So that's what you're walking into. If you're not in this yet, this is your new contract here, the star, this is the time where it's like you're not waking up like oh i have to go do this you're waking up like oh my god i want to go do this i'm hearing something about vegas could be significant some of you may be moving to vegas i'm hearing the winter time i'm hearing scorpio um season to aquarius season here yeah especially if you've been like considering relocation saving for relocation i feel like around november you're finally gonna actually like put real plans in place, Queen of Wands, in order to relocate Ace of Swords here. So just know that as well. I also see you leaving like four people hanging here. People that you realize were just kind of like pulling on your energy, keeping you like in this procrastination, keeping you in this weird, I'm almost hearing like, not territorial but defensive type of vibe like people that bring out your defensive nature are not people that you need to be around here for some of you you're around other fire signs that were still immature going back to the links the person that thought that they could take whatever your position that this whatever um but i'm hearing too much fire burns each other out so you're realizing that like more balance is required when it comes to you working and collaborating with others because too much of the same energy like nothing gets done i just see this procrastination this anger this like weird tension here so judgment it's like you realize it's kind of like oh i realize i work better with women i realize i work better with earth signs i realize i work better on weekends whatever that is you know what works for you now yeah eight of swords here and the wheel of fortune so as soon as you you made that realization too i feel like a lot of things change for you i also feel like you had to start thinking of less about um it sounds bad but like less about your friendships and your standing with people on like a not business basis and you have to kind of switch into this king of pentacles energy where it's like okay cool you can be a friend outside business but we can't work together and by you being straight up with yourself and others in that way it's moving you even faster here with the two of pentacles especially when it comes to business although certain news that you may have to say may be hard to hear people are going to respect that a lot more like oh we'll call you back for the job in a couple weeks now that person's sitting waiting by the phone every single minute of every single day like you have them in that hangman position versus i really don't think this position is going to be right for you but if we ever have something and you come to my mind we'll give you a call that's completely different vibes and i see you more so in alignment with the second one so naturally people are going to respect that people are going to want to work with that people know that they can come to aries and they can trust aries princess of pentacles queen of pentacles i'm hearing um integrity i'm also hearing raised right here so yeah the new vibe that you're in just watch just watch how much what i hear how much wonders it does for you you could be foreign some of you, you could be from a different country i'm hearing trilingual i also feel like you have there's a lot of um envy here around you because this is you in the middle 
with the three of wands but you have this two of swords energy kind of watching you here you have the seven of swords energy watching you here so just know like there's a lot of people who will not be happy with where you're headed um but that's okay ten of swords <laughs> who cares princess of cups here so yeah it's just life and it's like if you do care you're just going to end up right with them in the same cycle five of wands three of swords here queen of swords so it's all about just like getting very much cutthroat about what's best for you and what's no good for you and really sticking to that nine of pentacles prioritizing yourself your well-being ace of wands your opportunities instead of trying to like extend and do everything for everyone you know queen of cups here it's like you're realizing that that energy is reserved and conserved for your family, your, you know, your next of kin, your children, people like that. You can't drain yourself by trying to take care of grown other people, you know, that are meant to send in to work with you, but you end up taking care of them. That's not how it's supposed to work. Ace of Cups here. So it's like, yeah, all those fires are being put out by the Ace of Cups, by this realization here. It's just a restructuring. And it's not, yeah, look. It's just a restructuring and it's not loving any less or being any less passionate. It's just knowing when to compartmentalize, when to give that energy, when to exert certain energies because two of wands, you're an Aries. When you exert proper energy in the proper places, it's no telling where it can go. So if you're doing that in the wrong places to the wrong people, it's like your magician energy is kind of compromised, you know, but Ace of Pentacles, you got control of that. Keep hearing in August. Yeah, like in August was your last straw strength. But yeah, beautiful. Some of you have a Libra coming in around Scorpio season. I feel like that's love, Ten of Pentacles there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This moves really, really fast here. This could be somebody from your past. I'm hearing Libra. If not Libra specifically, it could just be the archetype of an empress, you know? Very regal energy there. Um, hold on. I'm seeing something weird. Surrounding this situation though. Look at this. Like everything was all good, 6-6, six, six, everything was going so well, right? But then look, it's, just, it's almost like the vibe of meeting somebody, hitting it off, like, oh my God, I finally met somebody new. I finally found somebody that's like in alignment with me. And then finding out that, that they're married. It's reminding me of the Capricorn reading. It's called Risky Business. But look, it's like everything was good. 6-6, six, six, we ended up, we ended off on this 6-6. Six, six. That's soulmate energy, harmonious energy. We had the lovers to complete that with the two of cups, but then everything shifted. Boom, four of cups. It's reminding me of that Usher reading once again with Mr. Dubois when he starts singing Usher. Um, but then look, that comes out right when the hierophant comes out it's almost like it's giving like dear john i've never seen that but like when somebody comes back from war i'm hearing oh party's over like fun's over something like that you have the five of swords the nine of swords and the seven of swords so just be aware especially if you meet a capricorn or anything like that just make sure like that person's not married especially if somebody's like ducking off to like take calls and do weird things that person could very well be married ten of cups seven of cups high priestess yeah the sun this could also be something from the past as well but regardless you're moving forward into a new world ace of cups very fulfilling that's all i have for you this reading is so long i must go so god bless and i will see you guys later take care